Hello everyone, welcome to Nib Picking. My name is Steven and I'm giving you guys some pen reviews for artists. Now normally I would say fountain pen reviews because um, that is what I use most of the time when I'm doing pen and ink style art. But today I have a ballpoint pen. I know, I'm sorry. But I thought I would branch out a little bit and try something new. And I thought no better place to start than this one right here the Fisher Space Pen. Um, and this pen is interesting to me. Um, it's my day job as a science teacher. There's a scientific history to this pen, and it's quite an interesting conversation piece. Um, and it does look kind of cool. Look, it's like a little, like a little capsule, like a, like a bit of a sci-fi looking pen almost, um, that of course pops out and posts and then looks kind of like a regular pen. It, it's, um, it's interesting to look at, and it's got that history, like I said. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, you can look this up as well on their website, and there's a more detailed explanation. But in the 1960s, um, the Fisher Pen Company created this pen using their own um, research and development money to make a pen that could write in zero gravity, because the uh, typical ballpoint pen can't do that and pencils which were being used at the beginning of the space program are not ideal for space uh, because of the wood chips and the graphite um, and the flammability factor in an oxygen rich environment it could have been a hazard it can create um, issues and so this is the pen that is used uh, in space even to this day um, and uh, the fisher pen company has built kind of a whole product line based on this pen and the pressurized ink cartridge that allows it to write in space as well as uh, according to claims underwater, upside down, those sorts of things. Um, although the typical user will probably just use it like a regular pen. Um, personally, I have not used a ballpoint pen for art in a long time. It does kind of uh, make me think of back in the day when I was learning how to draw when I was in high school, um, in middle school. Uh, sketching in my notes for classes so um, maybe it'll be a nostalgic feeling uh, maybe I will realize that I was wrong to betray my fountain pen roots and I will never return to ballpoint pens but we shall see all right let's check it out here we go this is the Fisher space pen um, in its compact size of course with the cap on uh, you can see how small it is, pretty much the size of my hand. And also for reference, here's another pen video that I'm working on coming up in the future. This is the Caveco Sport, which I always thought was a really small pen, but this is even smaller and the barrel is thinner than this. And uh, in my um, Jinhao 51A video, I also mentioned how thin the barrel of that was, but if you look at the two of these, it's actually, um, this one's even thinner. It might be too thin. I don't know, we'll have to see as I start working with it. Um, but here's how it pulls out. It's friction fit when it posts on the back. And then you have a full size pen. It feels, it's a little bit thicker, wider than the typical cheap uh, disposable ballpoint pen you might see. Um, but it does definitely have a slimmer profile than most of my fountain pens. So um, is this going to be good? Uh, we will see. Now let's look at the internal parts here. Of course, I'm not going to do an ink filling this time because this is a ballpoint pen and it takes a ballpoint pen cartridge. And when I unscrew it, you can see here's the... <clears throat> the uh, refill this is what it came with this is a medium um, when i do a writing sample i also bought the fine so you can see the difference between the two they don't look different on the outside uh, they're a slightly different color but uh, the tip is finer on this one right here than this one right here so and then the rest of this it's just two pieces <clears throat> i can hear a spring moving around in there. So that's there. And this um, looks like it might be brass or another kind of metal. 
um, but it's all really solid construction. There's a little rubber ring here, and I think that's to keep the cap on when it's posted. And then this little guy is the back end. Um, one thing about this pen that I heard from my research online is that it's really impossible to fill it with any other kind of ink cartridge besides the uh, Fisher ones because it's so small. So mm, that might be points against it. There's this pressurized system that makes the Fisher space pen able to write underwater, upside down, in space, all of those things, uh, which I won't be using it for. But let's see if that adds to uh, its ability to be used as a writing instrument down here on Earth. Okay, and now for a sample of how the pen writes. Um, this is the medium cartridge, the one that came with the pen, and I will check out the fine one as well. Uh, so I'm gonna write that here, medium, and let's see what we can do. Um, one of the things that you can do with a ballpoint pen that you can't really do with a uh, fountain pen is that you can definitely have a lightness of stroke and you could put down some really thin light lines and that's nice for getting values. You can make them darker and you can layer the ink, which is something that you cannot do with a fountain pen because a fountain pen lays down a thick, even line um, that the ink flow is pretty consistent. So you can do that. You can't do that with a, a fountain pen. Um, I'm feeling the pressure of this medium. It definitely feels very similar to writing with a ballpoint pen in a way it kind of reminds me of writing uh, and drawing with ballpoint pens in um, in middle school and high school because those were the pens that I typically use because they were always around it's got that typical ballpoint pen ink that's kind of greasy um, oily sort of ink I know a lot of fountain pen lovers do not care for um, Personally, I can use it. I do think I prefer the ink flow and the feeling of writing with a ballpoint, uh, with a fountain pen, excuse me. Um, but I can fill in large areas. I can shade and using light lines, I can also put in some values that wouldn't be easy to do with a fountain pen. Part of one of the things that I like about fountain pens is that they're a little bit of a challenge to draw with. There definitely are materials and mediums that are easier to use for art than fountain pens, but um, part of the, the thing that I do enjoy about it is the challenge. So, um, yeah. This is an interesting pen. I'm fairly certain that my channel will not become a ballpoint pen reviewing channel anytime soon. Um, but it's not too bad to write with. Let me just switch out the cartridges and we'll see what the fine is like. It takes a lot of turns to take out the cartridge. I think that's a good thing and you can't have it accidentally slip out beforehand. Um, oh, I had the cartridge underneath my sketchbook. Okay, so <clears throat> here we go. And this is with the fine. And I can already tell the difference. Definitely, you're getting a finer line from this, you can still put in those sort of lighter values and build up over time. Um, difference between ballpoint and fountain pen, you definitely will see that texture. I'm sure if I look at the other side of this paper, I'm going to see how I pushed down and I can definitely feel my wrist pressure um, increasing over using a fountain pen. Um, and being a left-handed person, these ballpoint pen inks are notorious for smudging. There's a little smudge right there where I rested my hand on it. Um, something that I don't get nearly as much since I've started using fountain pens for most of my writing is that smudge when I'm drawing or when I'm writing notes. So there's that as well. Anyway, so this does the same thing right there. 
if we look at some hatching, it's noticeably thinner, but I wouldn't say that the medium point is unpleasant or would be hard to draw with. And I'm actually going to use the medium point when I draw and I'll save the fine for another day. All right. So uh, I thought I would spread out this part of the video a little bit. You know, typically my drawings are sped up quite a lot. Um, it, it tends to be about an hour's worth of drawing, which is uh, what we have today. And I just thought I'd make it a little bit longer so I could spend a little more time talking about uh, stuff that's going on with me. And actually, this is my favorite part of these videos when I get to just kind of talk and share and I, I felt like I have more to say each time so I thought I'd make it a little bit longer. Let me know um, in the comments if you appreciate more time for this drawing sample or if you prefer when they're short but sweet like two to three minutes. Um, one of the reasons I've been inspired to, to spend a little more time talking about uh, just regular stuff that's going on with me is I've gotten a lot of really nice comments from complete strangers who watch my videos and that blows my mind. Um, people wanting to talk about pens, wanting to talk about art. Uh, so I just thought I'd, I'd spend a little more time today and, and discuss some things and maybe even share a little bit about myself um, if that's what people would like to know a little bit more about. Um, as you can see from this drawing, it's um, this is a fire helmet. Um, this is uh, something that's going on right now where I'm at in California is that there's a lot of fires going on and um, my brother is a firefighter and a paramedic and one of my best friends is also a firefighter and they're off fighting these fires right now and I've been worried about them and their safety but also um, you know pretty in awe of how brave these people are that are risking their lives to make sure that we are safe um, while we've been worried this whole time these guys have been out there, um, these men and women have been out there uh, fighting fires and, um, and making it so that uh, there is a limit to the loss of life and the loss of property that happens with these crazy fires. So um, just wanted to do a little, little bit of a tribute to them and uh, take the focus off me for a little bit. I could tend to um, put a lot of focus on myself, especially when things are not going great um, as far as the pen is concerned, I'm still feeling, even after working with it for an hour um, doing this drawing, it still feels very much just like a regular, I'm not going to name a brand in particular, but just a, a cheap ballpoint pen as far as how the ink works. So I don't know about the uh, pressurized cartridge, you know, it, I'm sure it does write underwater and upside down, but I'm not going to be using it that way and I imagine most people who would have um, a pen like that would not be using it in that way and obviously we're not going to space so uh, I don't know I don't know about the pen um, I haven't posted anything on this channel in about three weeks and um, not that I'm apologizing for that I, I can upload whenever I want this is you know my own little side passion project and it's not my job so um, but the reason that I haven't is because honestly uh, working on this drawing today was the first time I've picked up a pen to do art in about those three weeks and um, the reason why I haven't really uh, taken the time to do any art is because uh, my my day job uh, I'm a middle school science teacher has started in these last three weeks so um, we're doing distance learning because of the coronavirus pandemic and it is just a lot of work I think especially for something like um, like a lab science where kids are supposed to be doing hands-on um, experiments and working with partners and uh, testing their ideas and that's what makes science such an exciting subject that I love to teach and a lot of that has been removed with distance learning or we're still trying to find ways to make it work so I've been working like 12 our days um, and I just recently uh, earned the ability to have a weekend and you know this is one of the first things that I wanted to do was uh, to draw and to create um, also to express gratitude 
for all the people keeping us safe right now. Um, but one of the reasons I've, I've really been inspired to draw actually was um, because I've gotten so many nice comments from people, uh, people that I don't even know, saying things about uh, that they appreciate about my videos, which blows my mind, but also just wanted to talk about pens. I don't have anyone in my life who is that into pens, so I pretty much talk to myself about them. So it's been nice to have conversations with you all. I really appreciate that. You know, I do say stuff like like and subscribe and all that, but really the comments are my favorite part of uploading these videos. I like getting to know you all. Um, so thank you for that. And it's really helped me through this kind of lonely times. Being a teacher is a very communal effort most of the time, but being at my house and, and communicating, you know, pretty much 100% uh, through email and, and video conferencing is kind of isolating. And I got to admit, you know, I was feeling a little bit depressed at the beginning of the year. Uh, it's been nice to use art. Art has always been kind of like a medicine to me. So getting a chance to um, review this pen, but also to create with it has been sort of therapeutic. Um, and yeah, I, I'm really grateful for that opportunity. I'm grateful for this um, this kind of place that I have to be able to explain things. Um, it's interesting, yeah, I, I, I don't know if I'm, I'm feeling this pen um, as an art creation tool, but it was just over, overall very satisfying for me to get back to doing artwork. I don't think that my life would be the same without it. Um, so I was happy even though I, I'm not so sure about this pen for art or ballpoint pen art in general isn't something that I'm terribly good at. Maybe you can notice that from uh, the drawing. But um, there are a lot of artists who do a really great job with ballpoint pens. Um, I have a few friends that can work wonders with ballpoint pens and just the cheap kind too. So um, if you're into ballpoint pen art, I think um, this pen might have something for you, uh, especially uh, just the history of it and all that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, that's kind of... Um, all I had to say, I, I apologize if you don't want to know about me personally, because that's mostly what I've been talking about. Um, if you're a firefighter watching this, um, certain, first of all, I, I hope I captured the firefighter helmet properly. I did my research, but I wasn't quite sure of how if it was supposed to look like this. So let me know about that as well. Um, I'm grateful for you. Thank you for uh, taking the time to watch my video and again to all the first responders out there. Thank you so much for all your hard work and effort Now having used the pen and created a, um, a bit of art with it, I'll give you my thoughts first of all, it's not 100% negative, but uh, overall I feel as though this pen is not something that I'm going to use a lot for art uh, because it reminded me a few things about ballpoint pens that I don't appreciate from an artist's perspective. Uh, one of them, which may be more particular to my situation, is that I'm left-handed and uh, one, I forgot what it was like using ballpoint pens all the time. In the last four years, 90% of the time I've, I've picked up a pen, it's been uh, a fountain pen. Um, and I forgot about how ballpoint pen ink smears and smudges so much. Um, I actually went to uh, wash my hands uh, twice during the creation of the drawing and even once after I kept getting ink all over my hands and some of it smudged on the drawing and it makes it so that I'm not as satisfied with that um, piece of art as opposed to some of the other stuff I've created on my channel. So I wasn't a fan of that. Uh, the other thing, let's talk a little bit of positive, is um, that the, the pen, of course, as I mentioned when I was testing it out, it can create uh, various um, heaviness of lines by using a light stroke as opposed to a harder stroke and you can build up layers of that ink. 
um, but that also requires a little bit of extra um, hand pressure and that was a little bit harder on my wrist but at the same time it was much harder on my paper and I don't know if it was obvious from watching the drawing but the paper on the sketchbook is really buckled and wrinkled and the impressions from the ballpoint pen from how hard I had to push actually go through to the page on the other side of the sketchbook so um, I'm, I'll use that for practice sketching but I'm not going to be able to use that particular page for drawings for this channel because I want my paper to look nice. So that's um, another thing that I'm not a huge fan of. So all in all, uh, the Fisher Space Pen to me is not an art supply. I would not use this for art, although uh, if you're a ballpoint pen artist, it's probably um, something that you're used to and so it might be great for you. Um, personally, I do like this pen. Uh, I would prefer to use it for writing and the times that I need a ballpoint pen, for example, at work, if I'm filling out a form in triplicate, uh, fountain pens are not great for that. Um, filling out things at the post office that often use the carbon paper in the back, a ballpoint pen and the pressure you need to put allows that transfer to happen. So for some cases, I feel like this pen will be useful. Um, but as far as the technology behind the, uh, the pressurized cartridge, I don't find it to be that much better or more exciting than a, a cheap disposable ballpoint pen. So if you want to get into ballpoint pen art, uh, I recommend you start with something cheap and disposable. Um, if you're already into it, maybe this Fisher Space Pen is a good uh, choice for you. And it's definitely a conversation piece and something that um, has a rich history that is interesting to me as a science teacher. So I am glad I have it, but as far as uh, making art with it, I'll probably stick with my fountain pens. All right, that's it for today's episode. Please give a like and subscribe if you feel compelled to do so. Thank you so much for checking me out and I will come back with some fountain pen reviews in the coming weeks.